investigators in Wyoming asking for help to solve a murder. There's a piece of evidence, a very distinct belt buckle that they found on the victim who was decapitated. They can't identify him. So we're hoping that by putting this belt buckle picture out there on television, on Twitter, on Facebook, on other um, digital media, that you will be able to help us. Let me go to our digital producer, Travis Nichols. Travis, um, any leads that you've gotten so far during the program? We've gotten a couple of people there. They're saying that they believe that the belt is made in the northern Mexico area. They're saying that the distinctive stitching and the way and the style it's made is a certain style that you really find in northern Mexico. And they say a lot of the times even they'll have individual artists will have signed it. Now that won't tell you who was wearing it, but that might give you a better idea of where it came from and then you could trace with other ways, credit cards and phones and things like that to try to see if you could match up people being there at the time versus where the belt was bought. All right, Travis, we'll continue to check in with you during the next hour and change as we try to help uh, authorities out there.